Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University, looking at four language development theories, all of which are a little bit right and a little bit wrong. It's not one of these four, but it's all of them that come together to help us understand language. And these are the four theories, and this will take a very short time, but the behaviorist theory or behaviorally, children learn language through reinforcement. As they do things, they are reinforced and rewarded over time. When the child makes a cry, the child gets attention. When the child goes, eh, eh, the child gets attention. When the child goes, cook, cook, cookie, gets a cookie. So the little reinforcements over time helps create these neural networks and build this dot-to-dot -dot picture, which is the neural networks in a brain. Skinner Thorndike. Social cognitive perspective. We learn language through role modeling, hearing other children. We imitate older others, and we've seen this stage with children one or two years old who repeat everything. This is this modeling, social, interactive, cognitive thinking. Children at this level need adults who respond to them and give them feedback, sometimes corrective feedback, not corrections, but responding to what they say. The fourth one, the most interesting, the nativist theory, that language learning is a universal human trait. All humans learn to speak. All language shares these natural, uh, these basic structures. Children uh, are naturally, all humans are naturally hardwired to learn the language, hardwired for this language learning. Norm Chomsky called this a language acquisition device, LAD, in our brains, this natural hardwiring. When we are exposed to language, this triggers this language acquisition device. We are genetically predisposed to learn language through exposure and immersion. And the last one, social cultural theory, similar to the social cognitive pr perspective. Here, language learning is central to cognitive development, the development of our thinking, thought process. Language uh, is central to this cognitive development. It's learned by interacting with older and more accomplished human beings. We interact with people just a little ahead of us or maybe far ahead of us. We learn language through cognitive modeling, that's when people think out loud, or cognitive apprenticeship, hearing the thoughts of others, trying things out in a supported environment. These are four theories, all of which are a little right, all of which are a little wrong, like most theories in education. There's no one theory that explains everything. Remember, a theory is used to help us understand behavior, not to predict behavior.